just wants that mark corn for GM uh, mark GM corn for human consumption um, for next season's harvest. What that will do is that will give a good good customer goodwill in the eyes of the um, consumer. And even though the Prop 37 did not pass, that you will be able to uh, know which is going into your body. Um, another thing you can use um, primarily GM corn is for ethanol. Ethanol is in gasoline; it's a ten percent additive, and what one bushel of corn makes three, roughly three gallons of ethanol. And since there's so much uh, gasoline used in a year-to-year -year or week-to-week basis, that could be a huge uh, use for your corn. Another thing is that science, uh, scientific findings are never definite. I mean, some uh, some people think, oh yeah, if you do this, you're not going to get cancer. Oh wait, just kidding. Cancer, you're gonna get it anyway if you do it. If you don't do it or do it. Another thing is, um, like they said in the movie, it says casein. They gave it to rats in five percent, twenty percent. Um, although it definitely the findings were actually pretty definite, saying yes, the cancer went up, cancer went down. But like I said in the movie, there's so many other things besides casein. There's hundreds and hundreds of other chemicals and different um, functions that they can't narrow down. Like I said in the movie. So maybe they gave these rats casein, maybe it has some kind of adverse effect, and with everything else put into the, into the diet of the rats, maybe that uh, has different effects. Um, I would like to hand it off to Maria, and she will finish it off. Okay, Maria, hurry up. Thank you, Thor. Conclusion is using competitive advantages. Uh, two farms are going to be producing uh, GM, and the other two are going to be uh, producing AA corn. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, and then thank you, Don Mayer. <laughs> and thank you, class. And now we'd like to open up for questions. No, but we'll do open questions for everybody. Say it. Say it. Say it. Okay, now we're open for any questions. Perfect. 27 minutes. So, okay. Oh, yeah. First of all, I think that's awesome how Ryan's like, how you allude, you know, with that, like, yeah. you reference to other speakers and you reference to the movies, you reference all this stuff. I think that's awesome because you're incorporating everything that the class learns, anyways. Yeah. So, does anybody have any questions? Is everybody happy with what they're doing? Oh, I'm pretty yeah. happy. Yeah, yeah. we're well together. So, what, 27 minutes, right? Yeah, that's like perfect, right? Hey, yeah. you made all the finals for the weekend? Yeah. Practice over the weekend? What do you need to practice? Uh, in case we never hear it. Yeah. I think, Rochelle, I know it's going to be hard because you already just trained so hard in memorizing it. Don't I'm memorize. I'm, I'm kind of scared to tell her not to memorize it because that's what she's done. So, should we tell her to? You know, keep practicing memorization or switch a whole different switch. Way. I think um, you forgot like we're four people here. Like a whole week. Yeah, and how flexible are you? Like throwing that all so away. Like, 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 yeah, like, 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 okay, show it. Because you know the information. I mean, you're you're very knowledgeable on all, all the facts and issues. But the only thing is that you're trying to do it in order, right? Don't do it in order. And the thing is that you need to. Um, it's not scary. Yeah, everybody forgets something. Um, then you forget it. Then you forget it. That's it. It's okay. You go on the next topic. Let's talk about it. Why are you scared? Like, like really, why are you scared? There's, there's no reason. If, if you can talk it out, there's really no, no reason to be scared. You can be nervous. It's natural to be nervous, but scared, it's, it's not. That's irrational. Due to the changes in the size of the family business in the U.S., agribusiness 
might be a little cookie special when you eat it. There are both sounds in common Chinese and old, and we only get to play like the quiet, rarer sounds when we eat it. So far, the sound produced is grade AA normal kind. Through his helps, a British manager for vocal sounds has proposed replacing the current production of grade A yellow count with an identified count. Robert Belko, CEO of Belko Sounds, has engaged a Denison consultant to evaluate the talk's proposal and make recommendations. We have pulled together the information regarding the new product and the past year's income statements for Belko Sounds. Our team has a few days to review the materials and prepare preliminary analysis before meeting with the client. Now I'll go on with this. Should Belgo Sons produce AA or GM corn? How will producing GM corn affect our profit? Is it ethical to produce just one fed corn? Will producing just one fed corn Yes, because she doesn't want to do that. 